Tyler Nunn from Modern AC Products is here to show us a simple way to protect our homes. And Tyler, this all starts with a very small device. We're going to get into that in a moment. But let's talk about these entry points because a lot of us have these at home and we've never given them a second thought. Yes, Derek, we were just talking a little earlier. A lot of us have these. So in Houston especially, we have our units, our AC units in the attic. Most people think it's only outside, but there's an actual unit upstairs. So you're going to have these everywhere hanging out of the soffit. They try to hide them or paint them so that you don't see them. Yeah. You'll see them along the foundation of the concrete everywhere around the house and you have uh, some video right now that you brought to show us this is what it looks like and oh my yes this so, is a point where pests can enter your home right that is a huge open entry point the one we're looking at right there is attached to an AC unit so that's where we originally started was working on the AC units and when we're talking about pests like what kind of pests can come into the home so typically what you see originally is you're gonna see spiders go in their nest they like the wet cool damp areas and then what you'll find is that dirt daubers actually eat spiders so they come in and clean up that nest a year or two later which actually creates that cork but our product we actually We've designed it to where it keeps out everything. So termites, pests, ants, roaches, mice. spiders, mice, if they can get up that high. Um, we're talking everything from termites and up inside. Okay. The dirt dauber, you said those magic words. This is a common problem here yes. in the South. And the dirt daubers can cause a problem because if they go in to one of these entry points, create their little nest, that's what can back up and cause the leak, right? Exactly, so dirt darbers are a huge thing, and we see them everywhere in Texas. We have that high humidity level, so there's water. They like to build their nest on damp dirt. So you'll see them all over the side of brick homes, but what you're really talking about is the cork method that they create. So they go in, they build that solid nest of dirt. Now when the water tries to exit the home, it hits a blockage and it goes back. The water's still gonna be produced, but it has to go somewhere, right? If you can't leave your house, where does it go? And we're seeing a little bit of an animation right now uh, that sort of illustrates what can potentially happen, right? Yes, and this is just typically what happens if your client or your emergency and your primary get backed up. The water's still condensating, overflowing. Now it's getting out of the drain pan and into the home. Oh my gosh, this is so depressing to talk about this because I know a lot of people face this issue. The good news is, we mentioned, there's this tiny little device. Guys, these are inexpensive. This is what you guys do. Explain what it is and how it works. Okay, so very simple. This is called the Dauber Stopper, and all it is is an emergency drain line screen. So if you'll look, I actually brought a prop You'll see these around your house. Yeah. Give you a little look right here. And all this is is a water heater emergency drain line, okay? I have them one inch and a three quarter inch. And some can be low to the ground, right? Very low to the ground. So typically this is about six inches off of the ground, which I had to shorten it up for this, but I actually have a flange that goes right over these. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and show you some install. So if you see this right here, this is two of the three parts that come in our package. And all we do is we snip the drain line down and we screw this screen right in after we put four wood screws in it. So essentially, it's it's still allowing airflow and water flow, right, if needed, but it's preventing those pests from getting in and creating it's, their nests. That is exactly it. So we're allowing the system to flow air out, whether it be vent or water, but we're keeping pests from getting in. So it's a dual purpose design product. Look at that poor wasp right there. He's trying to get in. So he's nope. trying to get in, but we blocked him. We dauber stoppered him. And is this something, I know we're seeing video of you guys, the pros, uh, installing this, but this is something that I can install myself as a homeowner? Do you have a uh, screwdriver at home? I do. So you can install this at home. All really? you need is a screwdriver and a ladder. You hop right on there. It's four screws in. And I actually brought, so, oh, so I actually brought some actual samples. I'm going to show you. Oh, you're going to do it right here? Right here. So okay, perfect. if you don't want to do that, this is three-quarter tapered, so it actually fits your drain line without you ever having to use a screwdriver. Screen screws right in. And the PVC, as I will draw back to here, Wait, so, but how do you get it to stay? You just shove it on there like so that? So it's tapered, so as you gradually push it tighter, it gets a tighter fit. Now give it a pull real quick. Okay, that is stuck it's on there. It's not coming off unless you try to take it off. Okay, but it says, though, that it takes less than 10 minutes to install. That took less than 10 seconds to install. Oh. We always want to give you the max amount, like 10 okay. minutes as if you went and bought the ladder and you drove it to your house and you had to set it all up, but um, we don't want to cut anybody short on it. And um, by the way, these befores and afters too, the before side, it just looks kind of unfinished. So not only does the after look more finished, but you're also protecting your home. Exactly. That's one big thing. Um, aesthetic look of a home. We do remodeling all the time. Why don't we treat this? We put plants on our porch that are $25 for decorative decisions. 
why not put a product on there that actually serves a purpose? Dude, and if you have a flood from your AC unit, oh, my lanta, that's going to cost you way more. Okay, Tyler, thank you so much for stopping by. And the DauberStopper.com is a website to visit again, or you can give them a call if you'd like more info, 877-588-6922. Seriously, thanks for letting us know about these. I, awesome. I always saw those open pipes, and I was like, what are those?